This is a short video just to show you some layout ideas in Xcode. As you can see, I already have a label and I have a text field. I'm going to add a button now that the user can click to submit their answer. What I'm going to do first though is clear out my screen a little bit. I don't need this left panel right now because I'm not working with anything but my storyboard. So I'm going to click this button up here and that will create more space for me. I can zoom in and out of my, my um, storyboard here by pinching and unpinching on the trackpad on the computer. So I'm zoomed in just a little bit. What I'm going to do now is add a button. So if I click the plus sign, I'm going to grab a button and drag it and notice it'll tell me that's center right there. Okay, I'm going to style the button. First of all, I want to change the text. So over here on the right hand side, I'm going to change the text to submit. And then I can make some, some style choices here. The foreground is the text on the button. And I'm going to let the foreground color be a dark gray. And notice here's some recently used colors. So this dark gray is what I have as my background for my first label. So I'm going to use that as my text. I'm going to invert. So I use that for the text. And then if I go here for the background, it says default, but I don't want the default background color. I like to customize that to be my, here in the fill, I would like to use the system yellow color. That way I'm kind of inverting what I had before. Now, another thing that needs to happen is we need to have some layout constraints. In other words, we need to make sure, because if I press run right now, and if we look at the build, it can tell me views without any layout. It says here over on the little debugger, views without any layout constraints may clip their content. So notice that my button is in a weird spot here. It's because we're tr we need to set up margins so that no matter the screen, no matter what view the user is using, we need things to be spaced out. So it doesn't look like I want it to. So if I click off of this, I'm gonna stop that from running. I've got my button selected. And then down here, there's a button here that looks a triangle with two little stems on the side, if you will. So if I click on that, I just want to add the missing constraints. And what that will do is automatically say, make sure I've got a buffer of this distance between my text field and the button that I've just put on there. So in other words, I'm saying, this is how I want it to look. So add the constraints to make it stay that way. And you can see now it added this little distance marker to say that's how far away it should be from the text field. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing now. I'm going to add in a label. So I'll add in a label. This label is going to stay blank for now. Notice it centered it. It showed, I'm gonna leave this blank for now because I'm going to put the user's name in there. I want this to take up the whole space. I want it to be kind of large. And I would like the text inside to be centered. I'm gonna leave it right now, no, not any, add any text or color. I'll do that when we write the program later. Okay, so I'm going to add the missing constraints to make sure it stays the way it should. So it leaves that distance as it should. Now if I press play, it should build and everything should be the way I want it to look. All right, next video will be about programming these things.